Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday, June 19th and I am working on flower patterns today. I made a sunflower and I made just a basic daisy but today I want to make what are they called? Are they also called daisies? The yellow centered flowers with little tiny white petals. That's what I'm going to be working on today because I already have patterns for the two other ones. Um, I already have them written down so now I'm just going to remake them and take pictures of the process. This is my um, center of the flower. But yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. It's like 7.30 or something along those lines and yeah, why not? Um, okay, so this is my color palette. I have Sunshine. These are all Premier Parfait Chunky. I have Sunshine. I have Teddy Bear. I have Mushroom. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, I have, I actually don't remember what this is called, but it's like the sunflower color. We just have white. And last but not least, we have cotton candy. So I'm going to start on the little daisy now, and I hope it turns out the way I see it in my head, but I will check in and let you guys know. Hi, the lighting is terrible because I just have my overhead light on and not my lamp, but we're just going to deal with it for now. But I finished another sunflower. The original one went to my mom. That was just for her. I made that pattern up so she can have a magnet. And then we have a little daisy or whatever these flowers are called. I'm going to search it up and I'll insert the name. But how cute. I love them. And they look so cute together. Hold on. Ta-da! They're so cute. Yeah, I have to sew the loose ends, whatever. I'll do it later. I want to make the last flower so I can show you guys all of them together. Oh, Pina, you are just gorgeous. You're gorgeous. All right, all the flower patterns are finished. Oh, Pina, Pina. They're excited because we're going on a W-A-L-K. But I wanted to show you guys them first. Aren't they so precious? I can't wait to take pictures of them in the morning and the sunlight because I feel like this is just not doing them. Don't mind my drinks. This is just not doing them justice, but they're so cute. Today, I am working on a custom order for a crochet cow. So if you saw my last video, you saw I made a custom order for a fuzzy cow that was white and tan and today I am working on a white and pink cow so right now I only have the snout and the horns finished and I'm working on the ears but that's what I'm doing tonight um I'm super happy to do another one of these cows because they are adorable but yeah I actually had an issue with my YouTube video today for whatever reason it would just freeze on certain frames and I'm not sure why because when I was editing it, it was fine but once I uploaded it to YouTube, it had those issues. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to re-watch the, uh, the YouTube video and on my computer from my hard drive and see if that problem shows up there. And if not, I'm just going to repost the video today, hopefully today. I really want to get it done today because I like posting on Thursdays. I was originally going to post on Wednesdays, but Thursdays are just better for me. So yeah, let's, let's take a look at that. Alright, so I'm looking through the footage now, and it seems that in my editing software, it's all fine. But when I export it, for whatever reason, it freezes on those few clips, so I'm just going to review it again and see if it comes in true. Now it's okay. Come on, you know. I'm going to re-upload this to YouTube. I wonder how long it's going to take. It takes a while for them to get uploaded for whatever reason. But now let's open the revised file. And I have to copy and paste... what I had before. All right, so our video is uploading and now I am going to go on Lion Brand because they don't sell this yarn at Michael's. They do, but it's more expensive. So anyways, I am going to Lion Brand and I wanted to get 
this yarn called Nap Time for such a long time. And it's a chenille yarn, but it's thin. And I feel like it's similar to the Dollar Tree um, Premier. I feel like it's similar to the Dollar Tree Premier chenille yarn. Um, it's also thinner. So anyways, I want to get one in every color. They only have six colors. So I want to get one in every color because it's just so pretty. And I feel like when I make mini plushies, this would look great. I'm just going to order it through Lion Brand directly because even though their shipping is $10, their pricing on Michael's is like $2 more per skein. So it just makes sense to get it on Lion Brand because I'm getting six skeins of this yarn and that's a little extra savings. So that's what I'm doing now and I can't wait to use it and make all the cute plushies also you guys there have been so many adorable um tester calls that i've seen on instagram and i want to apply to all of them obviously i can't i don't have enough time but i i'm just amazed at how talented people are and all the ideas they come up with and also oh my gosh me and my friend addison um, she was testing my crochet flowers for me so that I can release the pattern. Um, we found a way to make a rose using the base of my pattern. So there will now be a four pack mini flower pattern pack, whatever. There will now be four patterns in the mini flower pack instead of three. I've been trying to make a rose, but I didn't know how to go about it and she had this great idea so of course she's credited in my pattern but she said I can publish it so that's very exciting I'm actually going to take a break from this cow in a little bit after I make all the small parts and make the rows because it'll be absolutely adorable and where is my card you guys I lose cards like it's nobody's business I found it but let me, get, let me show you guys the nap time yarn. There's six colors. All right, the yarn is ordered. This is the yarn that I wanted to get. So this is the color pale aqua. Then you have just regular white, pink, navy, pale gray, and lilac. These are absolutely stunning colors and I can't wait to get these in. I also ordered some really cool new yarn colors I haven't seen anywhere. Um, so those will be limited edition colors for my fuzzy turtles and I'm so excited. Um, let's put on some YouTube. I've seen all the people that I subscribe to. They have all been posting, you know, I don't remember my password. <laughs> okay, good. It's signed in. Okay, we're gonna watch Jenna Hong today. She uploaded a new video and I am Some going wireless to... wireless companies think they can inflate one of these. And we're going to work on making new parts for this cow, all the tiny parts. I have to do an ear and then the limbs and the rest I think I'll save for later so I can make the rose. And I'm going to make it in yellow because yellow roses are my favorite. <laughs> finished ear it's so cute i love these little ears how cute are they anyways this one is a white and pink cow i think i said that already and then i have the little horns finished and i also finished the snout here we go those are all the parts so far and i'm just gonna take a quick break instead of getting into the limbs we're going to try out the rose pattern. So if, if you've ever wondered what the pattern making, pattern creating process is like, it's a lot of um, going back and forth, making sure everything is exactly the way you want it. So, and it's also a lot of um, stopping, writing things down, taking pictures and all of that stuff.
Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I am getting my hair done on Saturday. I'm getting the blonde brought up because right now my hair is grown out. But I'm getting my hair done on Saturday and I'm so excited because I just really need my hair to be done the way I like it again. <laughs> but now is the best part. We get to stuff. When I first started crocheting, I thought it was so cool that I could stuff a plushie. Like that was my favorite part because everything was finished. I could stuff it and I thought it was just so cool. So anyways, now I don't feel the same about that anymore but it's still so much fun to like finish off a plushie and all of these flowers are no so all of these patterns are no so and they're very easy to do the only sewing that you have to do is to like close off the hole i love these types of patterns and each flower works up in less than 20 minutes depending on your crochet speed, but for me, they work up in less than 20 minutes. And how cute would a variegated colored rose be? I don't have any variegated yarn. Okay, so the pattern works. This is the rose. But the only thing is, I don't know if I should put the magnet here or if I should put it on the bottom. So this would be the view from the top and this would be the view from the side. I kind of like both, but how pretty. Good morning, everyone. I'm not sure when I last picked up the vlog, but yesterday was Friday and I had my little sister's graduation. So I went to that and then I pretty much just spent the day finishing up um, the fuzzy cow. Here's how it looks with the pink. It's adorable. I love these. And if you'd like to order one yourself, send me a DM on Instagram or fill out the custom order form that I have linked down below. But I wanted to show you guys my <laughs> packaging setup for when I film these videos. Okay, so I usually have my tripod propped up like this and this is where my phone goes. But here is the little cow and all the notes and whatnot. And then these are all the magnets that are being shipped out today. They're so adorable. I love them, but that is my setup. Now I'm just going to package up these orders and they're being shipped out today. I have my hair appointment, but I'm trying to go to the post office before uh, my hair appointment because I'm not sure how long it'll go and the post office is only open until 1. It's currently 7.54. I have to leave by 8 to make it to the post office. I want to get Starbucks and then... My hair appointment is at 9. It's like 20 minutes away from me by car, so I gotta hurry up and film this. I forgot my phone stand, but something about me is that I'm always running late. Not crazy late, but always like 5 minutes behind schedule. It's 8.08 right now. I should have left at 8, but it's fine. Not that big of a deal. I'm gonna rush over to the post office now. Hopefully there's no line. I'll drop off the stuff. I'm gonna get some Starbucks because I haven't eaten yet. Also, I know I have sunglasses on, it's raining, but my eyes have been more sensitive since I got contacts in, um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and leave. <laughs> this is the before of my hair. So as you can see, it's grown out at the top, and this is how long it is. It's like past my hips, or like at my hips when I stand up, and we're gonna chop off some dead ends today and re-dye from the top. So. Packages are dropped off. This is what I get at Starbucks usually because I'm not a big coffee drinker. I get an iced green peach tea lemonade, sweetens. They usually sweeten it, they don't ask, but that's what I usually get and it's delicious. <sighs> Anyways, I also always get a butter croissant, but I ate that on the way here because I was starving. It's 8.42, my appointment isn't until nine, so. I'm just gonna hang out in the car for a little bit. I'm gonna make an Instagram post. Oh my God, okay, so I was walking back to my car from Starbucks and this lady, she was just standing outside and she was like, oh my God, you look so cute. I love your pants. I was like, thanks. And I don't know, it just really made my day. So just a reminder, be nice to people you see on the street and um, you don't even have to compliment them. Just be nice, don't be an asshole. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just sitting in the car for a little bit. There's people walking by, they're staring at me, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna pretend I'm on FaceTime with my friend. Excited to get my hair done. 
I see this one guy, I've been seeing him for like three years now. He always does such a good job with my hair. But what I wanna do is I wanna make it lighter because a lot of my hair is dark. So I wanna do like a, a brighter blonde and do some money pieces, don't mind my eye bags. Um, I wanna do some money pieces in the front and just make it a little, a little bit of a brighter blonde. So those are the plans for today. And then I think I have to pick up my sister later I might go to Michael's. I have to restock on some yarn, which I know I bought yarn earlier in the vlog, but that's new yarn. I haven't tried that yarn before. And I have to go to restock. I also have to do a pattern test. Also, I'm pattern testing from All From Jade, her new tortoise pattern. So I'm so excited to do that. Really cute. I'm doing an ice cream version. Ah, that's going to be up soon. I think it comes out Monday the 26th, the pattern. So by the time you guys see it, it'll already be up. And I'll insert a picture here of my turtle and I'm so excited to make it and then also I'm pattern testing for another um, girl on Instagram and I'm making a little otter oh I'm so excited it's so cute if you guys don't follow her I'll uh, put her at right here but I'm testing one of her otter meals it's the blueberry one and they're just so adorable I'm gonna see if they have velvet yarn at Michael's that I can get to make that if not, it's fine. Um, I just really need a darker brown velvet, but if not, it's fine. Um, I'll, m I'll make something work. So, yeah, super excited, super busy day, but I'm so happy. And, yeah, check out my Instagram, check out my Etsy. If you guys see anything that you like, but maybe you want it in different colors, just shoot me a message, and I will remake it in the colors you'd like. There's no extra charge for that, by the way. I get a lot of people asking me, like, oh, if I want... If I want this but in a different color, is it extra? It's not. It's not extra. Extras come if you want to add accessories or whatnot. So, yes, I'm just going to do some Instagram stuff right now. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my appointments are always at like 9 in the morning. And that's because no people are out at 9 a.m. on the weekends. So there's no traffic. There's plenty of parking. I didn't even have to get a meter spot. I parked on the street. Um, which if you're from New York City, you know the struggle. It's just parking is horrible here. There's a lot of cars. So, oh, how cute. Two neighbors are talking. Um, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. I love early morning appointments and then you have the whole day to yourself. If you like early morning appointments too, leave a comment below because we love early queens, okay? I'm done with my hair appointment and I love it. It looks so pretty. It's a little, it's much shorter now. Still long, but shorter than what it was. But I love it. Oh, I needed this. And look how good it looks with sunglasses. <laughs> love it. This is perfect for the summer. Also, it got so hot out. It was cold in the morning, so I had like a little sweater on, yoga pants. But no, now it's so hot. It feels like a sauna outside, but it's okay. I am going to head to the mall now, and then I'll pick up my sister later. But we have to go to Michael's, and I think I'm going to go to Aerie to pick up some yoga pants and some shorts. See what else they have. Maybe they'll have some sales, but that's what I need to do, and that's where we're going to go now. So, going to drive over to the mall, and I'll see you there. Okay, I'm at Michael's. The lighting isn't very great, but I came here because I wanted to try faux fur yarn and I found this one. It's by Loops and Thread and it's just the color 8. And this is $10. I'm just going to get one to try it out. There is only 56 yards in here, but maybe I can make something small from this. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to take one just to try it out. And I showed you guys this color before, but it's so pretty. I wish they had NC Snuggles light, but I don't see it. Anyways, it's so pretty. It's like a very pale blue, like a minty blue. Right now, I just picked up that faux fur yarn, but I wanted to get velvet yarn. I don't see any. This yarn is so pretty, and it is called Pink and White Multi. 
but it's like a mauve tan and white it's so pretty i really want it but i really don't need to get more but i kind of want it i'm just gonna pick up the one that's not so messed up so they're renovating my michaels so i apologize for the lighting but i don't think they carry any more burnout velvet that's so sad they only have the loops and threads thick velour and i don't want that i don't want to order it Okay, I'm done with all my shopping, but I haven't had cinnamon in so long and I asked them to put caramel and pecans on it. It looks so delicious. <laughs> These are my favorite. Mm. And I also got Taco Bell. I got the soft um, potato, soft spicy potato taco. But I didn't realize they used the jalapeno sauce. And I don't like that one. I like the spicy ranch. So that sucks. And then I also got a cheesy gordita crunch, no beef, add potato, because I don't eat meat. Um, and that's good, it's just messy in the car. Alright guys, I just got home, and Peanut knows I have stuff for him. We're gonna try these treats. I think they've had these before, but they were in a different packaging. I just restocked on their favorite treats, chicken and apples. Brownie really likes them also. And then bacon and cheese, those are their favorite flavors. I restocked their cheese and egg treats. They While I was at the mall, I also got these biker shorts and I just got another pair of yoga pants. These are both from Aerie. And these are the flared yoga pants, but not the extra super flared. Those are my favorite. And then I went to Aeropostale, which I usually never go there, but their jeans are really nice. So I just got two pairs of mom jeans. They're straight leg, um, no rips or anything. But if you ever go to Aero, always size down one or two sizes because they run big. Like this is a size zero, I'm usually a two. And then they gave me free flip flops for whatever reason. I guess they were trying to get rid of stock. And then I did get the loops and threads faux fur yarn. Really pretty. Got this gorgeous colorway and Chanel Home Slim. But yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm gonna work on a pattern test now. My siblings are over, so I'm sure we'll get into some trouble, but that's the plans for today. Good morning, we are at Coney Island today. My brother is making me go on roller coasters, which I don't like. But it's fine. Um, we're going on steeplechase. I'll show you guys how it looks like. We just what went on Phoenix. It actually wasn't that bad. But I was being very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your guys' favorite ride? Phoenix, um, Phoenix, 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 Phoenix or or steeplechase. Yo, I steeplechase, agree with her. It's so good, bro. I like steeplechase because in the beginning, it's like, bro, but but the one ride no, going fast. It's not even that bad because you can put your arms up. Nice. For what? I didn't know Tony's yeah, Express I'm was the way it was. So Anyways, we're heading out, but we went on four roller coasters, and I will not be going on any anytime <laughs> soon. Be <laughs> roller coasters and one like the other. Oh yeah, and then we went on an airplane one. I'll try to insert some clips after this, but you are scary. Never again. I am walking back home, you guys. I am not a roller coaster person at all, and the fact that I went on any of them. I'm surprised at myself because I really don't like them, but I wanted to do it for my brother. He loves roller coasters, so me, my sister, and my brother all went, and it was fun, but I'm really dizzy now from the last ride. So if you guys know me, you know I love drinking poppies, um, raspberry rose, and ginger lime sodas. Um, they're the prebiotic sodas, but today when I went to Target, they have like culture pop or pop culture um, prebiotics, and I got wild berries and lime and um, whatever other flavors they had I got, except the watermelon one. I'm just not a fan of that. So we're going, we're going to try this one. 
and I'll let you know how it tastes. Why are prebiotic sodas so expensive? I don't get it. It's a very pretty color though. Hmm. It almost tastes like a seltzer. So when you try it, you um, you taste the raspberry and as it's going down, you taste the lime. Hmm. Interesting. Not my favorite, but this one's not bad. Let me show you guys what other flavors I got. Cause my sister said the strawberry and rhubarb one is gonna be nasty, but I really like rhubarb and drinks. Um, and then I got orange, mango, and lime. So, also I, you know what? I'm a sucker for the packaging. Like how cute is this? Hold on. How cute is the packaging? Adorable. I'm just gonna sip on this because I'm so little dizzy from the airplane ride we went on. Wow. I went on that airplane ride when I was in middle school and I don't remember feeling like this. Maybe it's cause I'm older, I don't know. But my brother went on it like a week or two ago and he said this time they made it so much faster so like when they spun you upside down and all around oh my god i wanted to get off halfway through and my sister was saying the same thing she's like i want to get off yeah um other than that it wasn't bad it's just it was too much spinning for me but now i am going to sit down at my computer I have to do my schoolwork. I'm also going to work on um, an otter meal tester and I also have to finalize the pattern for my flowers. Hold on, I gotta show you guys, they're so adorable. So these are the flower patterns and they're so cute. Ah, oh, it's gonna fall. They're so adorable. I think the sunflower is my favorite, but they just look so adorable together. All right, so here's the deal. I have to watch a couple lectures for my class and while I do that, I'm going to make one of my custom orders. I'm working on just a classic baby bee. And then we have a Cheshire cat. I, I'll put a picture of the pattern here. It's a free pattern by Craft Means Art and it's adorable. So let me start on the bee and um, we'll just make the Cheshire cat as we go. By the way, the bee is a free pattern by me. You can find it on my Instagram page and my highlights. I just finished the bee. I love bees. They're so cute. They're one of my favorite things to make and it's adorable. So I'm working on the Cheshire Cat now. I'm just about to get started and look at how pretty these colors look together. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to make this pattern for a long time but I didn't really have an excuse for it. So now I do and getting started now. Right, so it is 10.30 but I have finished the order. I also finished my homework. Uh, so that's great. <laughs> I was talking to my- I just kept getting distracted, to be honest. But here's the Cheshire Cat. How cute is that together? I love it. And you know what? I usually don't do face details, but look at these eyes. That looks so cute. I love it. And it's a little chunk. It's a little chunk. Cute. It's being shipped out tomorrow. And um, I messaged the customer already, so everything's good with that. She approves. <laughs> Obsessed. Obsessed. Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining me on another vlog. Um, I have so much fun hanging out with you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe hit that bell button to get my notifications. And ciao for now.